Yo, there's a lot of craziness that's going on in hip hop per usual, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about it, man. Nicki Minaj's husband. What's his name? Kenneth Petty. What a name, yo. Kenneth Petty. Is it cliche for me to say that what you did was petty, man? You standing outside, allegedly, of a New York hotel where Offset is supposed to be at, talking about you guys are going to come and get him, and basically incriminated yourself, and now you on house arrest for however many days the judge gave you. The interesting thing about this, too, is that they was talking about they run the city. They talking about they outside. They outside. We outside. Is that what everybody's saying now? We outside because everybody's inside on the internet? So now it's like it's a thing if you outside. You see, that's one thing that Charlemagne said. Yeah, man, it's kind of whack that people are on the internet stitching on themselves. Like, why would you post that video, man? We all from that generation. Like, you know, those of us that grew up in the 90s, we all knew. You don't go on camera and talk about your feelings, man. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And then second of all, even if you think that it's cool to do that, it's not cool. Why don't you guys go do something productive with your time instead of standing out there on a street corner? I completely agree with that. Completely. Yo, man. When I saw this video, I saw this video on Twitter, of course, because that's where TMZ and everybody gets all their information from, right? When I saw this video on Twitter, I said, this has got to be the dumbest video that I've ever seen. First of all, y'all don't look scary if that's the goal that y'all trying to achieve here. And then second of all, why the heck are you standing out there in the cold? It looks cold where you at. Why are you standing out there in the cold on a street corner talking about, hey, we waiting outside for you? I swear, the dumbest shit I've ever seen. So then, on top of that, which I already knew right off the bat when I saw it, when I said, oh, they're saying that they run the city. They run this city. They run New York. They run this town. Okay. Nikki, why you got your man out here acting like this? And then second of all, it's like, yo, man, y'all don't run nothing out there, man. Y'all ain't running no real estate. Y'all ain't collecting the taxes out there. Don't be talking about how you run this town, you run this city. I was already thinking of that before the judge even did what they did. Then the judge goes and slaps them with what, like 180 days, 120 days? How, how, many, how many days did they get slapped with? 120 days? On house arrest? Because he was on probation out there talking trash on camera? And yo, man, to each their own, to each their own. However you got to get down is how you got to get down. I'm just saying this, that we all know from the generation that I think a lot of us come from that were doing some of this before the internet, before the internet existed, that you just know that there's certain things you just don't do on camera. There's just certain things you just won't say. And come on, man, it's that, that that's what made me think. Like when I saw this, I just thought like, ah, all right, I saw this on the phone. I was just like, ah, all right, cool, whatever. Keep it moving, right? But then now I'm hearing everybody starting to talk about this to where it's like, oh, okay, okay, it's a thing in hip-hop, which it shouldn't be because some of these beefs that are in hip-hop right now are just amazing to me. They're amazing that, wow, that's actually a beef? Like Melly Mel and Eminem, that was actually a beef? Or what about the beef between Blueface and Lil Baby? How are you going to let another grown man fill up on your booty? Whoa. <laughs> That's what the beefs are about now. So even Jason Lee, who we all know, you know, he's saying that Nikki and her man allegedly tried to hire folks to come and get him. And he put up this tweet just a few hours ago. So now I'm like, oh, okay, shit is getting real. He said, yo, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it now. This is just weird, man. All this hip hop, all this social media, social media and rap music just doesn't mix. I'm going to tell you all that right now. Just from the era of the realness. I mean, I, I seriously think that, you know what? I'm not even going to go there. 
we're going to start doing some of these special talks on a QA, and a uh, members only, because I don't want to be disclosing all of my thoughts to the public anymore after what I'm seeing, what they're doing to other YouTubers. I'm not going to talk about this shit publicly no more. We're going to have you. You're going to have to pay a membership for this. And then Vlad. Right now, he even tweeted about it. You see, that's what I'm saying. Like, OK, yo, there's something going on right here that I need to obviously pay attention to. So now he says Vlad goes on to say Nicki Minaj's husband is on house arrest for threatening offset. Right after that, she previews a song on IG saying she got killers who will pull up and do what she says. Yeah, I do remember her pumping that on on uh, IG. Let's just make sure. Let's just listen to the song and uh, make sure that that's exactly what she's saying. The me. I can be playing with niggas. I'm married to G. I got some niggas. Let's just listen to the song. Shoot, they pull up from the three. When bitches be rapping, I'm laughing. It sound like you trying to me. I'm sorry. I, I know this shit is so stupid. Yeah, so, you know, I don't really be on Instagram that much anymore because Instagram is nothing but a bunch of thirst traps and I don't have time to look at that crap. But I will say that, yeah, Nikki just previews a new song talking about she got killers that will do what she says. So Vlad comes on and puts her on blast. And let's see what he says. This was the same Nikki who threatened to send her husband to Academic's house for his comments about her. This is the same Nikki who told Meek Mill to have his crew beat up Quentin Miller, which happened. Have you ever heard a woman scream, my man will F you up? Over something she started herself. That's Nikki. This is according to DJ Vlad. This is not my words. This is DJ Vlad. So he goes up and he tweets this. So basically he's saying that your woman goes out here and the men that she's dating, she starts beef with and tells them to go handle it. So now the police got involved and gave him a court order. So now people are saying that maybe Offset snitched or allegedly because now there's a court order going on about now that her baby daddy husband, whoever he is, needs to do a hundred and something days on house arrest. But it's like, yo, he posted it on the Internet. Nobody had to snitch, man. He posted it on the Internet. And even if so, it's just like, yo, man, what's up with this beef? And I agree again. We don't come from that era, dog, where you're supposed to post that on the line. Charlemagne said it one thing that really stuck out to me in that um, speech that he did on The Breakfast Club. He said the FBI's internet. And that made me think, like, yeah, don't you think the FBI's watching? Are you going to post something like that? I don't know, y'all. Got to be careful out there. But, uh, yeah, that's, you know. I just wanted to say that, get that off my chest and rant about that a little bit. I got way more I could say on this, but I'm going to leave it at that. Maybe come back to another segment later. Thank you.